what is going on guys welcome back to the channel sorry i sound so nasally here the air quality in chicago is apparently the worst in the world right now so i'm a bit stuffy so anyway today's topic is going to be covering sound design so if you're like most creators you may have a pretty decent grasp on all the different components of editing but you might still just have absolutely no idea what you're doing when it comes to sound design so as you probably already know visual elements such as lighting framing and movement are probably the most important things when it comes to creating a good video audio is also extremely important they say about 40 percent of your entire experience when you're consuming a piece of visual content is driven by the audio and knowing how to create impactful sound design is sort of the icing on the cake when it comes to the audio for your videos if you don't understand how to utilize sound design to enhance the story you're telling your edits might just be coming off as sort of basic or one-dimensional you might might sort of be wondering well what are my edits missing you might be nailing things like i said framing lighting composition all that good stuff color maybe and your edits just seem to be still lacking something sound design might be the thing that your edits need so this is why i wanted to create this video where i'm going to share everything i've learned about sound design first things first let's go over the six basic categories of sound elements that you'll use most commonly in your edits then i'll give a full timeline breakdown of the edit you just watched and let you see all of the sound design that I used. Of course, in the edit you just watched, I intentionally didn't use any music because I wanted to show just how good of a story you could tell literally only using sound design. Just as a disclaimer, like most things when it comes to video editing, this is all very subjective and this is simply what works for me. So take everything I'm saying here with a grain of salt and apply it as you see fit. The first category of sound design elements that we're going to talk about is called a riser. This is also maybe referred to as a buildup. This is something that sounds like this. So you're typically going to use a riser when you want to build suspense, right? You want to sort of signal that there is something going to happen. And this is just sort of a way to build up into the next scene or the next shot in a way that is, you know, audio, not visual. The next most common sound that I like to use is what's known as a whoosh. All right, so as you've just heard, there are plenty of different variations to whooshes as well as risers, of course, as there is with most sound design elements. A lot of these sort of can overlap as well. As I've already said, this is all very subjective, but I like to download all of my sound elements and just put them in a folder where it sounds the most like you know, what the folder name is. So the sounds you just heard were mostly categorized as whooshes, and then before, of course, those ones were categorized as risers. But of course, there is some overlap. Anyway, a whoosh can be used in tons of instances. This can be when there's something in your shot that seems like it would just be, you know, whooshing by the camera. It could be if the camera itself is doing a whip pan. It's sort of just to indicate movement, I would say. Uh, and then it's also another way to just sort of transition shots that works without a transition. So maybe you're having a visual transition in there as well or maybe you just want to have some kind of a transition but you don't want to put something visually so this is something that i commonly do i'll just add some kind of like a whoosh in there it's really just on a very as needed basis you don't want to overdo it same thing with other components of editing you just don't want to overdo it but at the same time sometimes it's just needed at the end of this video we'll of course check out the timeline of the edit at the beginning and you'll get to see plenty of examples of this all right on to example number three and example number three is going to be what's known as a hit so this is where things get a bit more intense of course you know risers and whooshes can be intense depending on what the sound is but this is something i would probably say i use a little bit less frequently because this is really just going to draw a lot of emphasis to wherever you put it into your edit generally i'm going to use this when you want there to be the most emphasis on a certain shot or a certain scene or maybe even something happening within a shot thus far we've only talked about sound elements so so far we're not actually making anything in your videos sound like anything. In other words, if there's a dog, we're not talking about barking sounds. We're just talking about actual production elements that can enhance the entire audio experience of your video. The fourth type of element we'll talk about a little bit more subtle, but also very, very fun to use is what's known as a chopper. 
So as you've guessed, it kind of sounds like a helicopter or a chopper, right? And this is going to be used when you want there to be a lot of different things happening very fast. And this can be a lot of different cuts. This can be, again, just things happening within the frame, sort of chaos happening. And you want there to just be a bunch of almost hits happening very quickly. All right, the fifth type of production element we'll talk about is a background noise or a drone. As you've just heard, drones or background noises can include anything such as wind, crowd, people talking, um, city street noises, you know, weird, dramatic, you know, drone noises happening in the background, just any sort of weird background elements that just sort of sit in the background and fill space. It's not necessarily something that's going to come in and then immediately go out like a riser, a whoosh, or a buildup or any of those other ones we just went over, right? This is something that sort of sits in the background and it sort of just gives a whole flavor to the audio experience of your edit. These things are really important because they tie together all of your other sound elements. And it, again, it sort of just functions to fill space and it just makes things seem a lot more tied together, not as choppy, a lot more just cohesive. As you'll see, we're going to be blending a lot of these elements all together to create an overall experience with sound. Finally, the sixth Sixth element of sound design I'm going to talk about today is pretty much just everything else. So this is specific things such as that dog barking, right? These are things where, you know, it's something that's sort of miscellaneous. In the edit you just saw, I had some laughter in there. That's a good example of what I'm talking about. It's not necessarily just background noise. It is something that sort of stands out. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that you are sort of more meant to notice. It's not just filling space. It's meant to be noticed and very, very much so heard by the viewer um you know it's not just filling space like a background noise but it's also not a production element such as like a hit or a chopper a whoosh or a riser anyways those are my six categories of sound design elements again take this all with a grain of salt this is totally just my own opinion and these are how i categorize things this is totally just what works for me um anyway on to the timeline breakdown all right, so I know at first glance this looks pretty daunting, but we're just gonna kind of go through and do a full breakdown. So we'll kind of go piece by piece. So let's just go through the intro for starters. <laughs> So I knew I wanted to, as with most of my videos, make sort of this pretty dramatic, crazy intro. And sound design is usually a part of that. Of course, this entire edit is sound design and, um, you know, the intro was still a sound design intro like I normally do. So basically we have this monitor turn on sound effect. Um, I guess this is the last category. I'm, I'm not really sure. I just, I think this is, but it also sort of functions as a build up um it's it's just like one of those good glitchy sound effects right so um here we have a whoosh so we have a whoosh a build up some laughter uh and another build up right so you know and this is this is a monitor turn on so it's it's kind of a build up but it's kind of not right it's also kind of just like that last category i discussed Oh, and then also, of course, we have a chopper in there. So you'll notice that, you know, not even intentionally doing this, I actually wound up choosing a chopper, uh, which is up here, a whoosh, a buildup, another buildup, and some, you know, foley, I guess you would say. And this is typically how it goes, right? If you have one thing at a certain instance, you probably don't need that same category in that instance. And I think if you're going to take something away from this tutorial, it would be that, you know, you, you don't need too many of one thing. Layering is okay, but layering a bunch of the same thing isn't necessary. So let's move on. So there, of course, we had another buildup. Um, sort of when it's about to, when the intro is about to be done.
and then this is sort of to get you this stuff down here is sort of to get you out of the intro and then into the main edit right so let's just go through these and check out what all these are because to be honest i don't even remember let's go ahead and mute a couple of these and we'll just single these out one at a time so first off we have this sort of descending digital effect i would call this a background noise right and then this sort of another background noise starts to come in this is this like computer screen high pitch static as well as some wind starts to fade in right there let's mute this one let's hear what else we have again sort of um you know as we're coming out of the outro or out of the intro into the main edit so this is a riser to get us out of the intro and into this shot which i guess you'd call the first shot of the main edit we have our forest sounds start to come in and that sort of is existing throughout the entire edit that's just another whoosh this is a build-up and it sort of has like an echo at the end of it forest sounds start to come in and then we have our synth pulse background noise so we have a lot of background noises all coming in it looks like right we have our forest sounds we have our synth pulse we have our wind cornfield and we have our high pitch computer screen now why did i choose to have four background noises start to come in so the reason i chose uh four background elements here as opposed to just one is because each fills out a certain uh you know category of sound right so this high pitch computer screen noise. Let's just hear that by itself really quick. So that's your high pitch noise. And let's hear the synth pulse, right? So that's your low end bassy noise, right? And then the wind cornfield here. Sort of going to be some some a spe more specific background element, right? Just like this is like actually making it sound like, you know, it, it's windy, of course. And then the forest is making it sound like a forest. And all these combined is going to sound like this. And again, with the absence of music, which again, I intentionally did just to show you what sound design can really do, this is going to be necessary to really fill up the background with just noise that's emitting the entire time. Let's turn these back on and move on. All right, we'll cut it right there and let's just go through these next couple of shots, what we've done here. So, of course, we don't want the same background noises to be happening the entire time. Again, of course, in the absence of music, we want to have a lot of background noises happening, but we want to we want to switch them up. And our mysterious drone starts to come in here. The computer high screen noise is still going at this part, of course. The wind uh, cornfield wind to be specific is still going out is still going on at this part too synth pulse is still going on and um the forest sounds are still going on what else did we add let's check it out so we have our footsteps right so especially for this shot where i was dragging the camera along the ground and i felt that footsteps would be kind of something to put here because this is almost as if you're from the perspective of somebody walking and it's like very low to the ground and you bring in that sound in the previous shot to sort of allude to it happening right and this is just a technique that i've learned to use and we cut it pretty abruptly once it gets to this shot and we bring it back again on this shot. I also added sort of like this weird sci-fi back and forth for whatever reason. Kind of sounds like the blades of grass whooshing by the screen, right? It's almost just stuff, stuff to make that sound like something. All right, last but not least, we of course have added some laughter here. And this is 
probably the element that's going to stand out the most because it's something that's very like specific the footsteps are kind of like that too but then the laughter is like very like whoa like what am i hearing and this is this is kind of creepy and that's sort of creating the vibe that i'm going for here just kind of dramatic suspenseful mysterious creepy vibe <laughs> And with a lot of these sounds, I'll throw out a factor two on there, um, especially with laughter, I'll throw on some echo delay because this is going to just make it kind of echo more. It's not gonna be as flat. Anyways, let's turn these back on and hear what the entire thing sounds like one more time and move on to the rest of this edit. So by this point, most of the stuff that we had in the beginning has faded off or it's at least starting to fade off, right? So our cornfield wind is starting to fade off because we don't want it to get boring. We don't want this to be on for too long. So we have another drone coming in here to fill the space of, um, you know, we have the computer high pitch one that's fading off. We have this one fading back on. Um, we have our heartbeats in here. So more just dramatic, you know, specific sounds. That's kind of that last category of miscellaneous stuff. Um, not necessarily a hit, but, um, also kind of a hit, I guess, because it is a heartbeat sound. Um, and then I did start making cuts on that heartbeat sound. As I've said, again, we have our synth pulse coming to a close here. We have our forest sounds even, you know, sort of coming to a close, um, and the laughter has faded out. So we're changing up the entire sound design starting around here because I knew that, you know, as I wanted the edit to come to a close, I wanted it to sort of change and, and build up and, you know, have the story progress a little bit. So um, let's check out what I have for the rest of this. So there's a lot going on here. I know this looks probably pretty insane. If you haven't done sound design before, there is truly a lot that's happening here. So I'm just gonna give a quick breakdown and hopefully you'll understand as best as possible what's happening. So what we're going to do is look at each category of sound design element independently, right? So first things first, let's check out our miscellaneous elements. So this is some heartbeats uh, as well as some laughter. Um, let's get this chopper out of there. Um, we'll listen to that later. Also this whoosh, we'll get that out of there. We'll hear that later too. So let's just check out all of this stuff. Um, that's sort of that miscellaneous category, some footsteps, some laughter and our heartbeat sounds. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty good just by itself, right? Pretty dramatic, pretty creepy, really weird, right? And you'll notice some of the cuts are on the heartbeat, some are not. Uh, some of the cuts are on, I uh, sort of layered the same laughing sound over and over again because it sort of gives that creepy, um, you know, echoey, trippy vibe, right? So, alrighty, next up, let's hear our choppers we have in here. This is, again, stuff that's just going to kind of create chaos. It's just a bunch of moving sounds all happening at once, right? So one thing I'll point out here is you'll notice that the chopper sound is sort of being mirrored visually by me boomeranging these clips, right? So uh, we have these clips sort of going back and forth here. These are, that's what these cuts are. And it sort of looks like it would have maybe, you know, that kind of like a boomerang back and forth sound. And that's why I chose to put the sound where I put it. All right, whooshes. Not that many whooshes in here. Let's check them out. This is probably the best instance where I definitely thought a whoosh was needed. You have this one tree that sort of sweeps by the screen, and I definitely wanted to um, have a sound element that mirrored that. So I felt this whoosh did the trick. It also transitions into the next shot, right? All right, let's check out the risers. And this is gonna be probably the most dominant thing you're using 
when you want to create suspense and build up a scene, right? This is um, probably the most dominant part of the sound design at this end sequence here. Again, we have something that's sort of bassy, we have something that's not as bassy, and then we have just maybe one little guy just in the middle even right here. All right, last but not least, we have our background elements. Let's see what those sound like. So of course you might be thinking, how do you know what is too much and what isn't too much? Well, this is all very subjective. If anything, this is a bit overdone. There really is a ton of stuff in here. And again, this is because I decided to make an edit that was just going to show you how you can use just sound design alone without any music. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please drop a like for the algorithm. It means the most. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more simple editing tutorials just like this one. One last tidbit, if I didn't mention earlier, all of these sounds are gonna be found on Storyblocks or Epidemic Sound. No, this video is not sponsored, but the links to those sites are just in the description of this video for your convenience. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. I hope this has inspired you to go and create some really great cinematic sound design of your own for your next edit. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.